Welcome folks to uh, the, today's tutorial on drawing a graph. Um, before we, uh, we actually go ahead and, and draw a particular uh, graph or, or, or a straight line or whatever graph we're going to be looking at today, um, I just want to look at plotting coordinates. Now obviously if we want to draw a graph, the very first thing that we need obviously is axes. Hopefully you remember that the axis that goes from left to right, or the horizontal axis we sometimes call it, is called the x-axis. The vertical axis is also called the y-axis, y to the sky. Now in order to uh, draw a graph as I explained, we need to have coordinates. Now coordinates are always given in the form of x, y, and then you'll notice there's some brackets around them. Those brackets tell me that they are two coordinates. Okay, now we're always given the x coordinate first and then the y coordinate. So, for example, I might be given the coordinate, um, let's say, 3, 4. Now, before I can even plot my coordinates, um, I need to be able to have a scale on the x axis and the y axis. What I mean by that is by numbers telling me how far across I'm going. Now, obviously, I could do a very little scale and go each box is 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Noticing I'm going one box each time. I could do two if I wanted to. I'm going to do two. I go one, two, three, four. Likewise on the other side, negative one, negative two, negative three. And obviously zeros in the middle. You'll notice a couple of things here. When I'm putting my numbers on, I need to make sure and this is really important because it will muck your entire graph up. That you, if you're going across by two for the first one on the x-axis, every number has to go two boxes up, or whether it be two centimeters up. Okay. If you choose to go one box and then two boxes, okay, it's going to um, stuff the entire graph up. You need to make sure you go by the same amount. Now that's the same for the y-axis. Now it doesn't mean I have to go up by two boxes. I could go up by one box if I wanted to. One, two, three, four. But if I'm going up by one, then every single number has to go up by one box. If I go up by two boxes, then every number has to go up by two boxes. Three boxes, every number's going to be three boxes and you kind of get my drift. So I'm going to go up by two though because that seems pretty much about right. So one, two, three, Four, and if I went the other way, I think that's one, that's two, so it's negative one, one, two, negative two, one, two, negative three, okay, one, two, negative four. I probably don't need all those numbers at the moment, but okay. You can see that's really important, guys, so you must make sure that we put our axes on there correctly. Okay, so back to the question where it said we want to plot the, the coordinate three, four. Now, remember we said that the x coordinate is always first and then the y coordinate. So it's telling me that the x coordinate is 3. So this is my x axis. So I go across to 3. And then, so I go across to 3. I'm going to put a little line there. And I'm going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I put a little x there. And I'm going to put brackets 3, comma 4. I might have the coordinate, let's say, negative 2, negative 4. In brackets. Okay, so again, my first coordinate is my x coordinate, so I'm going across to negative 2, then I'm going negative 4, so I'm going downwards, so down to negative 4, and I'm drawing my line there, and that's the point negative 2, negative 4. Okay, so that's really important when you're, when you're graphing your coordinates that you know, first of all, that you always choose your x coordinate first, so you go across, left to right, and then you go up and down. So let's go to an actual question. So this question will be draw the graph, so draw the graph of y equals x plus 1. Now we're going to start with a straight line, but to be honest you don't really even need to know that this is going to be a straight line graph. Um, to be honest you don't need to know what the graph will look like, because this process will be used for no matter what type of graph you actually draw. Now. 
Going back to our last example, we said, what do we need in order to draw a graph? Well, the most important part, obviously, apart from having your x and y axes, we'll put that down, our x and y axes, was obviously to have coordinates. I need to know what coordinates I'm going to be plotting. Now, later on, you'll find quicker ways to do this, but for the, generally, for any case, what we need to draw is what we call a table of values. It's not a very good table of values, I'll admit. I'll put x and y there, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Now, obviously, if this is your first time looking at this, you could think, where have I drawn this table from? Where's it come from? And I'm going to explain that in a moment. This is called a table of values, simply because it's going to give us a table of the coordinate values. Now, how do I, where, where does this table come from? Okay, what this table is doing, it's saying that, look, if I know what the x value is, say for example x is negative 2. So let's go across, let's make some, make some numbers. I'm going to go across by three boxes, put negative 1, across by three boxes, negative 2. I'll do the same on the right hand side, making sure it's three boxes each time. Okay, so it's saying, well, if x was, because my line's going to be going somewhere around here, but if my value is negative 2 for x here, whereabouts would my y value be plotted? It's then saying, well, if x equals negative 1, so it's along here somewhere, where would my y value be? I can plot a point, 0, 1, and 2. As a matter of fact, you can just make these x values up. I could use negative, I could use negative 5, I could use 3, I could use 5. Okay, it's, I could use any values I want here, but why have I chosen negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2? Well, number 1, if I just use 0, 1, and 2, I'm only using the right hand side of my table. This, these ones here. So what I actually choose, I choose some negatives and I choose some positives. And I choose numbers, preferably be all in, in it in a row. Okay, so let's have a quick look. This is the graph of y equals x plus 1. So what this means is, whatever my x value is, y is going to equal that value plus 1. So that means that y will equal negative 2 plus 1. Well, what's minus 2 plus 1? Hopefully, you answered negative 1. If x equals negative 1, I'm going to add 1. Well, what's minus 1 plus 1? Well, that's 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, you could write the values down on here if it helps you. Okay. Otherwise, look, some of these easy ones you should be able to do just straight in your head. Again, all I'm doing is taking my x value and I'm putting it where the x is. So negative 2 plus 1, negative 1 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1. Now, all of a sudden, it might not look like it to you, but actually I've been given some sets of coordinates. So it's my x value, my y value. Now, usually we, we see those like this. Negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, etc. But that's just in a table form. You don't have to put write, rewrite the values down. You can do it if it helps, but you don't have to. So let's have a quick look. We're going to graph the first one. Negative 2 across, because remember, it's x first, then y. So negative 2 across, negative 1. Now, I haven't put my values on here. Again, it's, this reason is because I don't know what my y values are going to go up to. They go down to negative 1, they go up to 3. So let's do that, do that one. So let's go um, three boxes. One, two, three, that's negative one. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, that's three. If I needed to go up to, say, 10, I would have gone up by one box only. Okay, so let's have a quick look now. It's, the first one is negative two, negative one. So across the negative two, down to negative one, I'm gonna put a little cross. Next one, negative one, zero. 0, so it doesn't move anywhere, goes up 1, goes across 1, up 2, across 2, up 3. Now remember, my graph, I mean there are lots of points either side because it go, could go all the way down to negative 100, even lot lots further, go all the way up to a million if I wanted to. But I'm just showing values between negative 2 and 2. Now look at that, it looks like a nice straight line, doesn't it? So what we're going to do, hopefully you've got a ruler, you can simply get a ruler, and then draw a line through the middle of those points. Notice I haven't drawn 
a line just connecting the four points. I've actually gone past to show that those points actually keep on going. I've put little arrows at the end of it to show that my line actually keeps on going. I'm just taking a little snapshot of that line. Okay, I'm going to write here y equals x plus 1. Okay, and you know, I could look here, you can see um, 1, 2, 2, 3. Okay, I can read them off, off quite clearly. Later on, you'll find about things about what we call about the gradient, which means the steepness of my line. Um, also about the y-intercept. Actually, I will note something about the y-intercept. If you'll notice that plus 1, have a look at that graph. What do you notice about plus 1? Hopefully, you circle that. That is what we call the y intercept. That's gone off the screen a bit, I think. Y intercept. And that plus one at the end there of a straight line tells me that my line cuts the y axis at the point one. Don't really need to know that just at the moment. However, it's handy to know. So, all in all, guys, what we've learned today is we've learned how to um, plot coordinates. Remember, always x coordinate first and then y. And when I'm given a, an equation or a, uh, a graph to draw, like y equals x plus 1, it could be 2x plus 3 or minus 3, um, then all we need to do is to draw a table of values. If you haven't been given one, just draw one up. Put minus 2 to 2. So I've done there because it gives you both sides of my x-axis. And then plug and play with that equation. Again, we did minus 2 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1. Um, you know, obviously some of the equations get more challenging, um, but that's a bit more to do with your algebra. Hope this helped, guys. Please play around with some, drawing some of your graphs and uh, make sure, because practice always makes perfect. See you later.